Good morning, boys and girls. I am so excited that you decided to join me today for Sunday School. I'm Sister Melissa, and I'm going to be your teacher today. And how do we start our lesson? That's right. We start with prayer. So are you ready to pray? Do you have somebody that you need to pray for? Or did you have a situation this week where you might have, like, messed up a little bit and you want God and your parents or your guardians to forgive you? You want them to just, let's move forward. If you have a situation like that, pray about it. And once they've forgiven you, and you know when God forgives you, it's done. All right. Let's look to the Lord. I want you to say that person's name out loud. All right. Here we go. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, first of all, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. We thank you for food on our table and a roof over our head. We thank you for allowing us to see another Sunday. We thank you for the opportunity to come together to look at your word so that we'll know how we are supposed to live. We just bless your holy name. There is no God like our God. You are strong, powerful, and mighty, and merciful. We thank you, Lord. We ask, Lord, that um, you will continue to watch over us. We also ask, Lord, that you will take care of those amongst us who are sick. We also ask that you will help those who have lost loved ones during their time of grief. Lord, we pray for our pastor. We pray for our um, First Lady, Sister Smith, and Dr. Smith, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you will continue to watch over them and their family and bless them in a special way. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to bless our, fam our own family, our mommies and our daddies and aunts and uncles and cousins and, and our friends that we miss so much. Lord, we ask that you will also bless our church family, that you will continue to um help us to get vaccinated and we thank you lord for the vaccination site that is at our church we bless you lord for giving us the opportunity to be able to provide um these vaccines we just thank you lord for all that you've done and all that you're going to do in jesus name amen all right boys and girls let's get started so Today's lesson is about telling the truth. Now, this, boys and girls, is Ahab. Ahab was a king of Israel. And Ahab was a very wicked king. He was not nice at all. He wanted to go to war to take back something he thought belonged to him. Now, have you ever been upset with someone and you felt like they had something and you wanted it, even though it wasn't yours, you were going to take it anyway? Well, King Ahab did this all the time, and he did very mean things to people. So one day, King Ahab decided that he would go to a friend of his, and his name was King Jehoshaphat. Now, King Jehoshaphat was king of Judah, and King Ahab wanted King Jehoshaphat to go with him to fight the other people. But Jehoshaphat was a godly man, and he served the Lord faithfully. He did not think it was wise to go to war. So he told Ahab to ask the Lord's special messenger called prophets. And King Jehoshaphat wanted to know, what do the prophets of God say? What should we do? Well, you know what? King Ahab trotted out 400 prophets who proclaimed that God would be with him and he would win. But you know what? King Jehoshaphat was like, wait a minute. Everybody agrees with this? He's like, is there another prophet? And King Ahab was like, yep, there's another prophet. He's one that I don't like. His name is Micaiah. Now, Micaiah had a different message. 
see, a lot of the other prophets were afraid of King Ahab because he was so mean. But Micaiah, he spoke the truth. He would never say anything that God had not told him to say. And because Ahab did not like Micaiah, he didn't want to hear what he had to say. King Ahab told King Jehoshaphat, he never says anything good to me. It's always bad things, always bad prophecies. Micaiah came forth and he spoke the truth. And this is what he said. He warned that if Ahab went to fight in this battle, he would die. Ahab was so mad, he threw Micaiah in jail for telling the truth. And guess what happened, boys and girls? They still went to war. Now, why would they do that? Why would they disobey the prophet of God? And why would mean King Ahab have Micaiah thrown in jail. So King Ahab decided he was going to go to war anyway. And guess what happened? So remember, he has thrown Micaiah in jail. He has convinced the other king to go with him into war. And he was told not to do it. He was told, if you do this, you will die. And he didn't like Micaiah. So he went to war anyway. And guess what? Yep. You know it. Because Micaiah was a prophet from God. And King Ahab died. So, let me tell you what Micaiah said in 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 14. That's 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 14. Even though Micaiah knew that King Ahab was really a mean person, he decided he was going to continue to speak the truth, not knowing what King Ahab was going to do to him. And we see King Ahab threw him in jail. And Micaiah said in 1 Kings chapter 22, verse number 14, as the Lord liveth, what the Lord saith, Unto me, that I will speak. In other words, he was like, I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to do what God says. And that's what you got to learn today, boys and girls, that sometimes you're going to be in situations where your friends are going to want to tell a story that's not true. And as hard as it is to stand up to people, you have to be like Micaiah. You have to decide, as the Lord liveth, I will speak what the Lord says. And you know, in the Ten Commandments, number nine, what does it say? Thou shalt not lie. That's right. We have to speak the truth. Even when we're speaking to power. Even when our friends are telling us, don't tell the truth, we're going to get in trouble. Not telling the truth will get you in trouble. Telling the truth, you may find some mercy. Or whatever the case is, you have to do what's right in God's eyes. Always tell the truth. Even when it ends up hurting you, you have to tell the truth. Okay? Because that's what God wants us to do. So now I'm going to ask you a question. When you're telling the truth, what are you doing? Do you know? I want you to get your parent or maybe it's your grandparent or your guardian or maybe it's an older brother or sister and ask them this question and see what answers you get. Ask everybody in your house. When we tell the truth, what are we doing? I know you know the answer. I'm going to tell you, when you tell the truth, you are obeying God. 
And that's what Micaiah did. He gave us an example of how to tell the truth and always obey God. Listen, boys and girls, I am so excited that you decided to join us. And we're going to close out in prayer. But before we do, let me ask you a question. Have you started to have a conversation with your family about being baptized? If you have, you know you can call the church. And someone will help you with that conversation about being baptized and what it means. At the Apostolic Faith Church, and our phone number is 773-373-8500. Even if you just want someone to pray with you, 773-373-8500. All right, let's close out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We thank you, Lord, for your hedge of protection that you placed around us. We thank you for the lesson that we've learned from Micaiah, that we are to tell the truth. We will speak what God has given us to speak. We will read your word so that we know how to live. And we will follow you. And we thank you and we love you for saving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Until next time. Bye-bye. Have a nice week. Keep praying. Tell the truth. And remember, ask your friends and family. What are we doing when we tell the truth? That's right. Say it out loud. We are obeying God. Yes. Amen.